are in the car. It's a very rainy day oh, here yeah. in Montreal. But we are on our way to go and do some shopping for our <laughs> London trip. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go find some dresses and for the red carpet. For the red carpet for a Fantastic Beasts three. So we want to look snatched to the house. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we're gonna get some shoes. Hopefully, whatever dresses, we can find. Clutches, jewelry. Yeah. Because um, we don't have anything yeah. um, to look nice. So <laughs> I also have to upgrade new a bit because the t when I made the pants, I ran out of fabric and. Now the pants are unfinished, so I need to find some fabric that matches. It's super important. Because apparently I'll be presenting it to Eddie Redmayne. <laughs> so yes. they want us to present our costumes to the actors, they being Warner Brothers. To find like a Queenie dress that could kind of work for Queenie's new look from the third movie. So it's like black v-neck with like puffy ruffle sleeves. So I'm hoping to either find something at the thrift store or at the mall. We're gonna be taking you with <laughs> the experience. Yeah. Hi guys, so I found two cute pink ones. This one's like silky. And then this one is like flowery, but it looks a bit too summery almost. Like I know it's gonna be springtime, but I don't know. We'll see how it looks like on. It just looks like maybe a little bit too casual, but we're still looking. There's not much. Yeah. It's kind of like yeah, a bit 20s, but there's not much in the way of style. Okay, let's yeah, go. this selection is kind of fun. Okay, I was not expecting it to look like this. I look like a grandma. What? I'm talking to the vlog. It's big on me, and... <laughs> no. <laughs> Hell no. Okay, Karm found this one, but we think it's a little too, like, summery. It's a bit basic. <laughs> it's a bit basic. It's lace. I wanted, like... A lot, like a floor lanes one. Yeah. I feel like this doesn't scream like red carpet. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> and I have to adjust the sleeves. Yeah. It's the most expensive dress. And I'm gonna like, do I want to bother with that? No, no, no. It's not worth it. Okay, yeah. so I found this one. Um, I guess I just like old lady looking dresses. I feel like I don't have the bust to fill this out. Do you like? I don't know. Oh. Is it like a vibe or? It's so cute. I know. I, I don't know why like... it's giving me like <laughs> Ghostbusters, like Sigourney Weaver, but also like Back to the Future prom. Oh, that's my vibe. I, I don't know about this. No, one. that's a like, no. like I don't like the shape. Yeah, I feel like frumpy. Yeah, but I can adjust the strap so it might like lift to here. This is doing nothing. No, it's not doing anything for you. It's a no for me, dog. That's a no for me, dog. <laughs> They're all like huge on me. No. No. This one's like a small. That's like doing nothing. No. Ew. No. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Okay, so we're in a different store. Carm tried this one on, and it's absolutely it. beautiful. It, like, drags. But it's like too big, right? Yeah, it's too big. It's always the top. Always the top. Because it's a four and a two. But it's like. But it's not. Else it fits. No, I feel like it's not that big, Carm. Like Just I put like some a cups. Bra. Yeah. I feel like it's good, honestly. I feel like clutch. It's, yeah, <laughs> that's like the one. I don't know. Okay, I tried this one it's on. Running, I, I don't. I don't like it. I don't like this one either. On, I have this blue one that I'm gonna try on now. Sam, come look. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. That's the one. I know. Like, are you kidding me? Okay, so I have this blue one on. Um, yeah. Going for like a Ravenclaw moment, but I don't know about the fit. It makes me look a little bit too, I don't know, like it's not, it doesn't really fit me well on the bust, and this is kind of a little bit too low. I would prefer it to be like here. Yeah, it's too, it's too like, prommy, I don't know. I don't like it. Okay, so I just tried this one on and I really like it. It's so beautiful and we look Can you good film together. It? Okay, you guys look so beautiful. <laughs> Wait, there's a slit. I like it. Do your red carpet pose. <laughs> Do you like a walk? Okay, go. 
<laughs> you I have love it. Like it's so too. 20s. I love it. It really is. Yeah, because like if I do black with you guys, I'll look exactly. good. Exactly. Black, shimmery, almost. Black. Like, yeah, because I was thinking of accents. wearing my Yennefer sh eyeshadow. Yeah. yeah. So it would be green eyeshadow. Look at us together, though. Yeah, you look so good we together. Look really good together. We look fetch. <laughs> I love it. I want to get this one. I could, I could be confident in this dress. Yeah. Got my dress. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I found it at Laura. It's the, the white one. I'm so happy. Oh, I, I love it. Uh, now we have to find one for, for Sam, Sam that matches all of ours. Both of ours. And then we have to look for jewelry and uh, clutches and stuff. Yeah, so I got the silver one that we saw, but I had to order a smaller size, so it's gonna be shipped to my house, hopefully just in time. So. Yeah, wish me luck finding a dress. All right, so Sam like found one that she likes, but it's not the right length. So see here. It's like cutting here weirdly and then flares out here. Yeah. It's not doing it for me, and like it's showing like my pouch. <laughs> like I'm sucking in right now, but if I let out, it's like this. <laughs> I, I can't look cute on this. No, like no. if it was longer. It's not <laughs> This is what we call the Cruella pantsuit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually like really flattering. Yeah, it's actually like not bad. I really like it in a weird way. I didn't think I would. It's like really cute and I could picture myself. And it looks very like punky London, so. Yeah, yeah. Like it's very London and it flatters like my waist. Yeah. So to start off our trip, we have been asked to see a screening of the film, so it's a private screening. So we have the whole theater to ourselves. Super exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So good. Oh my god, I love it. I love it. Yeah. So here we are at the airport. We just um, it's like 7:34, mm -hmm. and our, we have to board our plane at around 8:50, 8:55. Yeah, 8:55 is our boarding time, and uh, we got through security, no problem. Well, actually, Carm has a story. We'll insert some footage after this. Yeah. So we got through security. <laughs> My bag makes it through okay, but then I, I realized, oh wait, where's Newt? <laughs> He's behind the thing because they had to take a look at it. Her new suitcase. My new suitcase. It's right here. <laughs> so it goes to the lady. She's like, is this yours? I'm like, yeah. She's trying to open it. She can't open it. I'm like, I'll do it. So I unlock it. I felt like I was doing like the muggle worthy thing. And then she's like, what is this? I'm like, a costume. <laughs> And then she's like, oh, I get it. Because like I was wearing my Gryffindor scarf. We were all wearing our scarves. And then they open it and she's like, what's this? And she goes, no, it's my wand. And I was like, oh, it's a wand. And then we both just started laughing. She's like, oh, my God. She's opening the box. She's like opening it very carefully. She's really respectful. She was like being yeah. gentle with it, like as if it's like a real wand. I saw. Mm -hmm. She had to go like get it like approved. Like the way she was holding it, it looked almost as though it was dangerous. <laughs> really do I know! Like sparks were gonna come out of it. So I've had these wands for so long. I had Newt's wand in there and Harry's wand in there, but she was looking at Harry's wand and that's like it's like I've had that wand for a long time. I yeah. didn't want it to be yeah. like taken away. End of the story is I didn't want to take my wands in my checked baggage because I didn't want them to break. So that's why I put them in my carry-on. I'm like, I'm not stabbing anybody, like I promise. Anyway. It's all good. Yeah. It was just so funny seeing She came her. back and she was like, you're good to go. I was like, thank you. Yeah. So we're just having a bite now because this is our dinner, basically, because our flight is like overnight. So during our flight, we're going to just like sleep the whole time, basically. We don't know if they're giving us breakfast or not, though. We arrive like in the morning. We're, we're going ahead in time, basically. Mm -hmm. We're traveling in time. Yeah. hit us finally yeah we're gonna try to be happening a lot yeah it's gonna be happening yeah. a lot we're gonna try to sleep we're gonna try to sleep like as soon as they turn the lights off or lower yeah so like when our gates were changed so we had to run from 
from our gate, so it was 59 to 66. So that was a lot of running. And Carm had like 30 things she was carrying. Yeah. And like, I can't run, but somehow I was ahead. Yes, that was a thing. Don't ask me how. Yeah. When it comes between me and my dream, I'll run. <laughs> Okay, yeah. but there were consequences because after all our asthma was like acting up, all of us. Yeah. I still have like a really strong tickle in my throat. It's not going away. It's because I was running like a maniac. Yeah. Mark's driving. <laughs> On the opposite side yeah. of the road. So we got like 10 minutes of sleep. Not even, I didn't sleep quite. I think I slept maybe 20 minutes. There was no time I was trying to watch the new James Bond. We were trying to get comfortable literally the entire time. Yeah. Like every five minutes. It's impossible to sleep on an airplane, guys. My, my neck was like Christmas with the cranks. <laughs> no, I woke up like the bent neck lady. <laughs> So we're at our hotel. They Carmen just and I just got back from the um, double decker double bus, decker bus tour London tour. Of London. It was so cool. It was amazing. We saw so many things, but it was all going so fast because the driver's going fast, and it's like, oh here's this, oh here's this, oh here's this, and we're like. Huh. Oh, it was so really. Fast. I didn't go actually because I was way too exhausted. Like I would have literally been a zombie on that tour. I would have been like, huh. Huh? Yeah. Huh? So I just stayed and slept, so it was much needed. Hey. Oh, so we got gift packages! Yeah, oh. 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 Wow. That's so beautiful. That's a beautiful moment. <gasps> it's gorgeous! Look at the too, when he's like that. Yeah. Holding it like a knife. Like this. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh, oh, stop. stop. Oh, I'll read out loud for the camera. You are personally invited to step back into the wizarding world for our latest adventure, Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. It's a bit of something for everyone with magic, adventure, humor, drama, familiar beasts, and some new ones too. Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore in theaters only April 15th. Oh my gosh, okay guys, so here's our breakfast. It is Monday, no, Tuesday morning. Jeez. Yeah, I know. This is how disoriented I am, guys. We stayed up like so disoriented. Day. Yeah. We ordered a bunch of breakfast. It's so, it's so <laughs> it looks so appetizing. I feel like I'm coming. Oh I know, gosh. Oh, I'm so excited. So we're about to get ready for the day. Today we have the Mina Lima exhibit, and it's basically like a private little tour that they've arranged for all the influencers for today. Uh, so it's the new collection, the Fantastic Beasts 3 collection that they just set up. So we're super excited to see. And then after that, we're going to be going to lunch. And then later on tonight oh is God. actually the premiere! Ah! <laughs> Woo! Oh my God. We're so, so, so excited oh. for today. Today's the most exciting just day. Just like, do the dance. Well, actually, no, all the days are equally exciting, but yeah.
It's also because this magical world, uh, in its narrative, there's plenty of pieces. They are always opportunities for us visually to sort of bring a new language to the audience um, and to start having a dialogue and a, and a, and a conversation with, with you about how, um, how best to manifest that world. I think for me, fantastic is the greatest thing with fantastic is, is, is the traveling, you know, that every time we are. Uh, introducing new uh, visiting worlds, and uh, and now we have a little bit of Brazil, China, Germany, and Japan. All right, so we just finished at the Mina Lima Studios and we met Mina and Lima. They're so nice. That was so fun. Like I spent way too much money in there. But Same. I'm so happy. Store our bags. Yeah. We got our prints signed. They're so nice. So nice. So uh, now we're gonna be heading over to Hamley's Toy Store. We're so excited. So we are on Carnaby Street. So after this, we're gonna go for lunch, but we're just, oh, look at the sun! Oh, I love it. We just bought, because um, we were walking by and we saw the Batman like all in bold. Yeah. Why do I have my mask? Yeah, we saw the Batman all in bold, and then we're like, oh my God, let's go in. And it's this store called Percival, I think. Yeah. And they did a collab with Batman. The new, the movie, the new yeah. Movie. So me and Sam me got shirts. Me and Carm bought shirts. The Great Frog. These places are all so cool. <laughs> There's a benefit store. Oh my god. It's beautiful here. Okay. Do you want to explain it for the vlog? Yeah. So, um, I have the snitch, like the golden snitch that you it's attached to a very like uh, invisible string and uh, the guy downstairs was showing me how to use it and he's like you can also use a coin as a trick as well to impress your friends I'm like oh, okay. Sam's husband my husband oh, the David Bowie Barbies okay this is mine oh collector's Barbies okay. I know I can't get any happier. I know. Yeah, noble collection section. <laughs> That's crazy. People could just come and buy it at a store. It's crazy. Love it in here. I know. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I know. guys um, okay so it is now um, 2 52 we have exactly an hour and eight minutes to get ready for the red carpet so that's what we're doing now I just showered I'm about to start my makeup Carmen and Sam are each showering Sam's showering in our room Carmen's showering in her room but we don't have much time so I have to make this super quick we're so excited and we can't wait to show you guys some footage from the red carpet it's gonna be crazy
Tomato soup, oh and it's literally God. the best tomato soup I've ever had. Mm -hmm. Point final. The bread, the club sandwich with the Cornish egg. By the way, it's 10 p.m. Yeah. Um, we're only having dinner now because we had the most busy night, as you probably saw from all the footage that we're going to oh put. My God. Oh my <laughs> God. The most crazy, intense, beautiful, magical, whimsical <laughs> moment yeah. of our lives. Just to be here for doing what you love and what makes you so happy is like, it's just such a dream. Like it's it been so surreal for it's us. It's an absolute dream. Like I'm like not believing my whole eyes. It hasn't yeah. like sunk in. No. It still hasn't sunk in. It's only gonna sink in when we're like on the plane home. We've done so much already. I'm and I'm like, like, I wanna be back. Yeah. Like, as you guys know, we've had our YouTube channel for a really, really long time. Um, we've been cosplaying for even longer than when we've had our YouTube channel and we've loved Harry Potter and the Wizarding World for even longer than we've been cosplaying. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. this just for us is so full circle and like, it it's feels like, so magical and it, it kind of feels like, not an ending, but like, it feels like an ending and a beginning. It's really yeah, weird. It's really weird. Exactly how I feel. <laughs> yeah. We are basically about to make some Instagram posts mm -hmm. tonight. Um, it is my caption right now. like it's 10 here, but it's five hours earlier in, in Montreal. And then go to sleep because we have another long day tomorrow and we can't wait to take you along for that too <laughs> okay say good night guys okay good night good night well, thanks for coming along and hope you guys liked the footage that we tried to get through like yeah tears and excitement <laughs> and everything good night guys see you tomorrow hey guys this is editing aileen like many many months later um i just wanted to say stay tuned for part two of the London vlogs and you get to come with us to the studio tour so that's gonna be so much fun so stay tuned for that vlog and thanks for watching this one I will see you later bye that's stunning I feel like a fucking loser <laughs> I know me too I'm gonna pop out on the side uh, it's rolling my back <laughs> this thing little I'm brother still finishing okay. the story <laughs> okay go why is Resident Evil the only listing up yeah. <laughs> I, I got like less than an hour of sleep, guys. Yeah, I got it. Oh my god, I just realized how hungry I am. Yeah, I know, me too. Sorry, I'm still trying to write my caption. Yeah, no, you haven't good. lived until you've eaten at the, at the Limeham Motel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cornish hen egg. Like, I'm like, I don't know what that is, but it's amazing. My heaven, when I eventually go there, will definitely involve the Langham. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know what anything is. Yeah.